Oh, wow. Some people are on already. Hello. Hello, Larissa. Should we brighten it? Here, we can experiment. Yeah. Everybody that watches us knows we're a little unprofessional here. We're messing with our lighting we're options. We're super. Ooh. That How's that? No. See, if you go super bright on the light, Amy, it gets rid of the, the purpose is little oh, behind okay. camera magic go is, bright, go bright. is it gets rid of your wrinkles. That's why people do oh, it. Oh, get rid of my wrinkles. What's the blue light do? Blue light special. Am I getting wrinkly? Yes. No. Yes. What was that first one? Oh, that one was cool. Hello. Yeah. You tell me when. What's up, everybody? Just hey. the first one that you did. Hi, everybody. I don't remember what the first one is. That was the blinding one. We're messing with our lighting here. We're just trying to get it right. So Amy is a blinded and uh, we can have a good chat. We have we have some fun in store for this uh, this live stream. So don't go anywhere. Hi, everybody. Hi, Leanne. Oh, go back. That other one was cool. How about that? That's fine. This one? No, the other one before it. You can't go reverse, huh? Just pick that one. This one? Okay. What's the surprise? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, by the way, if, you, if you've been on the, um, the Facebook group, Amy is uh, Amy's going to start. She's going to basically like kind of keep that up now. Ish. Ish, yeah. I'm just going to make sure there's no hatred. Yeah, she's going to make sure people are being That's nice to each other and do. just interacting with people and stuff. Because I don't really... I, I like making the videos, but the the um, Look, they want social the media stuff kind of gets overwhelming. So we figured that would work. The surprise? Oh, I see. Oh, well, Josh okay. Right here. Yeah, Josh here. Let's see. Let's, oh, well, he's, he's laying down. He's... Amy got a Steve Keen package, so we're gonna open it with you guys, so you guys can see what she got along I with take her. Off my shoes. Amy's gonna take off her shoes. Cause I don't wanna put my shoes on the couch. Yeah, and which is cool because today, um, to start out the video with Wally, I was showing that Amy got the uh, the doors waiting for the sun painting. Oh, it's so cool. So I'm just gonna get it started. And and then Amy will show you guys what she got. If I can figure out how to open it. I thought you opened it already. I did the pre-opening. The pre-opening, which is all. But if it's my present, shouldn't I open it? Yes, you should. Just kidding. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Oh, you know kids fight at birthday parties? Yeah. Well, my thought was I won't look at them. I'm just going to break it open and then let you start going for it and show everybody as as we get them. Because after that video, um, an amazing amount of people must have bought them because he sent me an email thanking me. And then in the comments, a ton of people were saying that they ordered some. So let's see what Amy's going to be decorating her walls with here. <laughs> My walls. Dang, should we just get like scissors? Um, well, You're gonna you... elbow me like Danny did on Sandy and Reese when she was like, Danny! <laughs> <"Dandy!" laughs> the Sandy! Okay, we're close, we're close, we're close. Do you want scissors? We got it. Here. Got what? You got it? Done? Alright. Wow, this is we, we've, we've made it through one layer. Wow, he really wrapped them. Yeah, he does. Oh, cool. We see it. What's that? I don't know. All right, here's our first one. I'm not sure what it is. It's upside down. Well, you're going to open it. What? It's pretty rad, this whatever is it is. We need scissors. Um, I brought my Frank Bannister oh. utility I'm knife. I'm going to with your excitement. That's dangerous. Never cut towards yourself, Jordan. Always cut away. Didn't you learn that? 
No, I, I didn't learn anything. There we go. Here we go, Amy. Careful with that ridge blade. Hey. -o. That's scary. Sixteen stuff. Okay, Amy. Here's your first one. What is this? Wendy's? Do you know what it's referring to? He does different um he does like different fast food ones. Like I got a Pizza Hut one. I actually really like that one. It's well like, you can have it because I don't think I should hang it around my kids. That's possibly true. That's very possibly true. It's very cool though. I love the art. I could smell the um, paint. Hmm. I dig it. I knew that you could. Yeah, that might have to go on my wall. Yeah, it still feels all sticky. I didn't look at this. I'm not looking at any of them as Amy gets them. Amy's going to reveal them. She can look at them herself first and then show you guys. Hmm. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What does it say, guys? Oh, I see it now. It's like a death. It's that a military. Cool. I like yeah. it. What's it say down here? What does that say? It says, um, unknown union, oh, union veterans. Oh, that's cool. I like this one. This is neat. I love that kind of stuff. Me too. I like this one. I like all the little detail. Like, look over here, up here. Like, the little... I love that kind of stuff. The trees and... Yeah. Very cool. I have to, like, angle it like that so it doesn't have the reflection to be. Cool. I like it. At first, it's funny because up close, you can't tell what it was. Because look, should I show you guys when it's like all up close? Wait, I guess I'm wrong. Whoa. Ooh, is it so cool? Amy got a really good one. Oh, for real? I mean, it's a classic. Oh, thank you, Tracy Roth Myers, for the super chat. Okay, I don't know if you know this album, Amy, but that's a classic. Joni Mitchell. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Joni Mitchell Blue. Album. Take it's a look. Really pretty, though. Cool. That is great. That's a really famous album. The reason it's I, so... I don't think I've ever seen it. Well, one of the reasons that Joni Mitchell's albums... if I, I, I may be mistaken on this, but one of the reasons it's a big deal she is because she, she would always... Too. She liked to do a lot of her own covers. Yeah. yeah how, look at that Karen really Cook good. saying, oh my God. Yeah, that's a great one. Super cool. That's really good. I like the colors. Yeah, that's really cool. Have you cool. done lo looking at it? It's pretty, huh? Yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you're ready to move on. Oh. That's a really good one. It is. It's cool. Interesting. What's it say? Snow. Snow April. What is this one? Oh, it's, um, it's, uh, it's Dutch. Look, that's Holland. The it? houses and the, the windmills and stuff. Super cool. It looks cooler on the camera. Well, once you have it hanging on the wall and you get back from it, we're looking at it super close. I love that. We're going to decorate Jaws room with all these. I literally don't know where to put it. His art Which, is so um, cool, huh? I love it. Yeah, I love that one too. I see a lot saying they love that one. Yeah, the Joni Mitchell one's really great. Hmm. Oh, wow! Cool. She got a Hemingway. That is really cool. He did. He painted you an Ernest Hemingway. Look at that. Sitting in the boat. That one is freaking amazing. That is super real. That is so cool. You're so excited. I know, but look at that. I love that. I love how he painted that in pink. That is so great. Thank you, Karen Cook. Super pretty. That is so cool. I, I like how it looks on the camera. It looks all like 3D. I, I'm holding it kind of sideways so that you guys can see it because otherwise it'll Oh yeah, bad. you get a little bit of the glare. Yeah. I love that. I wonder if he's ever done an Oscar Wilde. I've never seen it. Yeah, totally. What if Oscar it's, Wilde It's Old is Man next? in the Sea. That's what, I was, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I better not see Old Man in the Sea because if, if I'm wrong and he didn't paint that, everybody's going to be like... <laughs> it's pretty... I love. We well, should, I love. We should, put them, we should have like a spot to put. Yeah, them. we'll figure out a way to line them up here. Um, well, 
I love this because I loved getting baseball cards and not knowing what card you were going to get. Because I remember when Michael Jordan became a baseball player, that was like the big card everybody wanted in the pack. And because it was like worth 10 bucks when you just opened the pack, and I got it. Like the very first pack that year, I got it. So I always felt like I had a lucky draw or a lucky uh, picking hand when it came to packs. All right, Amy. Picasso. She got a Picasso. Cool. That is awesome. Look at how he did the hair up there. That is so great. Yeah. Neat. Here, let me hold it and you can get a look. It's pretty, huh, guys? That is really cool. I love that. Me too. Anybody know the name of that painting? See, I love the hair. <laughs> the swirl, it's kind of like Conan O'Brien hair. Uh, yeah, these are, these are so cool. Man. Well, his art is interesting. Oh my god, you're going to flip out when you see what else you got. What is it? Ah, cool. <laughs> David Bowie. I don't think it looks like David Bowie. Well, we'll have to figure out what the reference is, but I it's love that. Picasso's version of David Bowie, huh? I still love it, though. It's pretty neat. What album is this one copying? You guys know? Wait till, you, wait till she sees what her next one is. Well, I still am looking at David Bowie. Do you guys know what album this is? Thank you, Susan. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Yeah, she totally is getting the... Um, unique, huh, you guys? She's totally getting the, getting a... Um, I feel so special. An excellent pack. Wait till you see the next one. I don't think it looks like David Bowie, though. Do you guys? It's supposed to have one other color. It might have been the... Uh, what is it? Heroes? His What's eyes the are like? different colors, though, in real life. Well, when he was alive. It's still cool, though. I like it. <laughs> this is so totally for you. Frank Sinatra. That kind of does look like Frank Sinatra. <laughs> oh, we missed that one. It is abstract David Bowie. Yeah, C. but he should have did one blue one, but you can't critique an artiste. It's so Mus cool. Music Lover 1979, thank you for the super chat. You said, I want to thank Amy for chatting with me a bit yesterday. I've been getting, uh, going through quite a bit, and she helped me feel better. Thank Aww. you, Amy. You're welcome. Aww. I'm glad you feel better. I, I'm glad I helped you feel better. And so was Frank. Old blue eyes. Did he give him blue eyes? No. He gave him black eyes. That's even better. That's what's great about artists. They do it their own way. Here yeah, they did it my way. See, if you, I don't want to give anybody ideas, but if you go look on eBay, when when somebody posts like those of someone well known, they always are like starting at a hundred bucks, and we got the whole pack for seventy. So, and we're not done. Seventy. He prom he promises six paintings, but we've already went through. Probably eight. Purple rain is backwards though. Rain, rain purple. purple. This is cool. Man. She's looking out the naked woman looking out the window. What do you guys think? Who knows what this is? Is this what? Who? What is this referencing to you guys? That's a series he does. He does a series of of women looking out the window. Because I have one, see mine over there on the wall says yeah, lunch. Yeah, it says rain purple. It's just a play on words. I like this one. So far, this one's my favorite. Thank you, Paper Crane Stock. Um, has he done any paintings of Kiss? I don't know. Dun, I really don't dun, know. Dun. The next one's going to be a picture of Eric Singer. But it's going to say Singer Eric. <laughs> Instead, it's Wedding Singer. <laughs> this one's cool. It's a woman playing guitar and it says wedding. Hmm. Thank you, Rayel. Ja thanks you as well. I'm sweating so much. It's just you. No, it's, today's hot. 
<laughs> I know you love this one. Well, he made a different one that I have on the wall. Go get it, go get it. Because it's di look how different it is. Mine has has green in it. Go get it. You got she it. got a cold train. This one looks really cool. It looks cool on the um, camera. It looks cooler on the camera than it does in, in person. In oh, no way. I, look how different they are. I love that. Look how different he does the same painting. I know. It's really neat looking, huh? Isn't that great? That's what I love about getting his paintings. Yeah. Because you never know what you're going to get, and it'll never be exactly yeah, the same as another one he made idiot. before. Very cool. I know. I like it. There, It's really pretty. You guys like it? really cool. All right. We're on the last one. Let's see if I can get this out of here. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely. It goes along with the um, the Wendy's one. I like how he has no, the little leaf oh, cover in yeah. the butt. The Wendy's one was at like the first one, right? Yeah. It's definitely. So we got Dairy Queen, Wendy's, and then I have Pizza Hut hanging on my wall as well. Oh, thank you, Candace. See, but look how different they are. He changes things up always just a little bit. This one got the. The butt getting covered? You get the butts. I get the butts. I get the Amy gives me all the nudity ones. <laughs> no, I don't, liar. Yes. Nah. What do you think, Amy? Did you like them? Yeah, I thought they were cool. Now probably what she'll, now what he says on his um I've seen him interviewed, he said he loves knowing that his art is temporary. And so what he means by that is that he, like he, he loves knowing that Hot. people will keep paintings for a while and then pass them on to, to friends or give them away or whatever. He likes knowing that they have a life beyond just one person. His name's Steve Keen, K-E-E-N-E. -E -E. Naked Dairy Queen and Wendy's. I know, how cool is that? I can't bring those home. Your son might like those. Literally, I don't have, I don't, it's gonna stay here because I don't have anywhere to put it at home. But yeah, I like, I love it. Honestly though, Waiting for the Sun one is my favorite. He wants in on the action. Yeah, Dairy Queens. Does it say Queens on it? Oh, it no. could, I don't no, know. It just says Dairy Queen. Let's try to think. Yeah, Ryan Teller. What he, is this referring to? He said, uh, people when they're hot go get Dairy Queen and take off their clothes. That's what I think it means. It's not referring to something like in particular, like an album or. John, what do you think it means? People want to know what you think. Maybe it's referring that maybe this is actually something. I don't know. What do you think, John? Hmm. Yeah, didn't get a bur the naked Burger King, but I've. I've seen uh, a Burger King online before. See, I think that's they should do a virtual museum, like a virtual a website where people like upload what they have, and they and you can just like look through. Every, people could just upload everything, and that way it's like you type in a title, and there it is. Type in Italy or whatever, and anybody that ever got anything Italy will it'll pop up. What are you talking about? His paintings. Oh. Because he's done like he said he's done over three hundred thousand in the last twenty years. Rain purple has a meaning. Yeah, I think so too. Um, we made a whole video on Jaw's breed. It's called "What Breed Is Jaw?" It's he. It's broken down to eight different things. A pug? He doesn't look like a pug. He's just got a pug tail. Hey, Jaw! Can you say hi to everybody? He's all super shiny. It's because he's been getting olive oil in his food. Haven't you, Jaw? So now we've been on 20 minutes. We opened all that stuff up. 
now we'll just talk. We can talk about whatever. And like I said, now um, anybody that was like waiting to be accepted in the Facebook group or Amy's going through all those and we're I'm not uh, alone doing it though, right? Yeah, no, there's some other people doing it, but we're it was it just got backed up and um, and we're trying to make sure that none of the bad people get in and you know there, invariably there's always one or two so. Wait, where do bad folks go when they die? They don't, don't go to heaven where the angels fly. Go to a lake of fire. Oh, that's a big one. What's it say? Uh, oh, he's it, half pug? Jaws half pug? No. He's like 12% pug. What's the name of the group? That one was Nirvana. <laughs> that was Nirvana Unplugged, but we were just singing there. No, I think our group. What group? Me and you. Oh, okay. upside upside down full moons. You already forgot our group. No, I thought they meant who was the group that sang that song. Meat Puppets, yeah, you're right. Meat Puppets wrote it, but we were singing the, the Nirvana version. How are you guys all today? It's hot out here. I'm hot right now. It's it's 113 we're inside where we're at. Yeah. No, where I live is 115. I have to go ahead all the time, brother. Upstage. But that's hot though, but there's like a humidity too. They said they love seeing you tearing up at the Elvis gate. Aw, I oh, do too. Thank you, Ellen. And then I cried seeing the gate recently, but I'm so glad it's all cleaned up. We are we are gonna have dinner. I don't know if we'll, we were planning on going out, we're but it might be too hot. We're dinners, what? Well, they just said it's too hot. They. When she she sent us ten dollars oh, yeah, and said we I should order in. We have to eat outside. Yeah. No. Yeah. Arkansas was the coolest. It's been in a while. Well, I mean, I I don't know. It, it's it's been, been like a hundred here hot. or more. I'm sweating. I'm all shiny because I'm sweating. You're in Okinawa, typhoon. Wow. I, yeah. See. Ooh, cool. No, Amy I, keeps getting screwed over from DoorDash, so. She, nah, not DoorDash. Oh, Don't plug them. It, no, it's no. She said they said order DoorDash, and I said Amy keeps getting screwed over. It wasn't them. DoorDash. It was Postmates. Oh, they're the ones that are doing it. Yes. No way. Stay away from Postmates. We're convinced that the people take stuff out of your bag. She got an order yesterday that was an empty bag. That wasn't yesterday. Or whenever. I'm sorry. That was like nobody's gonna ago. nobody's gonna get upset if if the the story that didn't take place you don't yesterday. To me. That's all it I is. don't think you said yet. I don't think you said a specific day when you told me the story. It just means you don't listen. I do. You're like DoorDash from yesterday. Y'all y'all la la la. Yerdy 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 yerdy. Blah blah blah. Um no, I didn't yet. I don't think so. Yeah, we're pretty close to 600 people watching. Thank you. Wait, did I? I might have. Well, when I was in Ohio, I I thought it was going to be super hot. And I got there and it was like in the early 80s. My grandpa said that's the way it's been for like the last week. And then, of course, a couple days into me being there, it was up to over 100. Oh, in Ohio? But, yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen that movie trailer before. Oh, I did, oh, I didn't get to watch that yet. It said it probably says I read it, but I didn't um I didn't watch it yet. I was really busy yesterday. Yeah, I I think there's I think DoorDash is expensive too. It is, but like they basically doubled your price once you get done paying for everything. It's worth it if you're sick or if you can't if you don't have a car. Yeah. But if when you're they just being really, lazy, they make you okay, pay for so it. Tell, uh, can I tell them? <laughs> yeah, you totally okay, should tell so, them. So, we ordered McDonald's on my card, on my app, and then they never showed up. It just said that they dropped it off. This person like either just kept it or they just dropped it off at someone's door. So then my mom was like, I'll just reorder, and she did it from her card and her phone app, and when they brought brought it, Literally, it was an empty bag. I will, I will show you the picture. I will show you. I will show you the picture. Did it, you take a photo of it? Yes. Oh my gosh. 
Because it was like, it made me You said so... they brought the drinks, right? They brought the drinks, but no... They put the drinks in the bag, and that's all we got. There was nothing. There was no food, nothing. And it cost 50 bucks. For McDonald's? Yes, almost. Almost 50 bucks. And literally, it was just um, Big Macs. You could have had a, a car full of people, and it wouldn't have cost 50 bucks. I could have bucks. just not been lazy and got it myself. Yeah, you, you, they're teaching you. They're trying to teach you a lesson. See? <laughs> What is that a bag? That's what I, I thought. Opened that was something it. perverted at first. Like, what? what is no. That? No, I couldn't tell what it was. That was it. <laughs> I was so mad because my because because they they don't just give you your money back. You have to wait three days until it goes back into your bank account. So it's kind of messed up. Thanks, you know? Retro Ralph. No, I'm trying. You can you pick we, up what I'm putting down. We did. We did. Um, I did a lot in Memphis, but yeah, there's still a lot more I wanted to go back and do. So that's. Wow. I like that comment you said. There's 600 people watching. Everyone should send a dollar. Uh, that would be something, wouldn't it? That would be cool. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff in like Memphis or just outside of Memphis that I'd really like to vlog. But there's always I always want to go back. So I always figure there's always. I always want to make five, I, I like five it, videos when we come back. I love it when people call soda pop. That's what I grew up calling it. That's because you're from out there in Ohio. Yeah, in the Midwest they call it pop. I know. Out here in California we we're, we don't call it pop, so I just like it. My foot fell asleep. Already? It's because I was sitting on it. <laughs> Thanks, Bill Kay. Yeah, I, when I first moved out here, I would always call it pop, and people would always, like, go. They would argue, and that's not I how I like it, it. Thank you, Ryan Rafferty. Um, no, I haven't been to Norman's Rare Guitars yet. I, I want to, though. I want to vlog that place. What'd that person say? They said you had a bored foot. No. Oh, they've been saying that repeatedly. Just ignore it. Who is that, your friend? No. You should get rid of it. I will. Little kids sometimes watch you. Oh, who's that? Oh, in Canada you call it pop too? Why, uh, Michigan, uh, that doesn't uh, surprise me. Everything is called Coke in the South. <laughs> um, Robbie X. Um, yes, I have vlogged that. Actually, we have vlogged that, and you'll see it next we week. We should show them the um, cocaine bear t-shirt that you got me. <laughs> well, that's a future vlog, so I didn't really want to... <laughs> oh! Whoopsie! We didn't tell me not to say anything. Thank you, Shano Andrew. Sorry. Sorry, Jordan. Well, I know. It's it, it's okay. It's soda pop, but that's always the argument. Is people go, yeah, soda... It, like, because some people call it soda, some people call it pop. But I always said, yeah, like soda is the the type of pop. Like you could have a popsicle, soda. I don't know. Iowa says pop. Exactly. Time for the shush card. <laughs> Next time you're gonna blow a vlog, Amy. Can you just hold this? I'm kidding. It's not a big deal, Amy. You can actually show him the shirt. It's fine. Cause I posted the photo on. Um, on Instagram. Oh, well then what are you busting Thanks. my chops for? Just trying to keep you in line. What the heck? Thanks, Coach. Uh, I agree. I like, you said I like you Mexican want, Coke as well. Because you were saying for me to show um, presents, and that was one of them today, so you never oh, specified well, that I'm allowed to. Yeah, you can. To, so. Yeah, you can show. Okay, so there. You can actually show them the other one. No, I'm going to save that for the other one. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's funny. You said your aunt in West Virginia calls it soda. Yeah, those, the what was it, the Thousand Pound Sisters or whatever? They call it Sodi. Sodi. Thanks, Karen Cook. I appreciate that. Actually, we appreciate that. Amy and I are going to be going on a, um, a vlogging trip pretty soon, actually. And it's something that, ev I mean, almost every time that I do a live chat, somebody at one point in the chat says, will you go here and i always say at some point we will at some point it's now it's gonna happen so i don't want to tell where but um 
but I don't know a lot. Just think about it. Think about where a, a place is that people constantly always say, Hey, are you, have you vlogged this place or are you going to vlog this place? And I always say, I will at some point, I, I keep planning on getting up there, but well, I just said up there. So that kind of gives you something. Yeah, I grew up calling it pop. I don't even think about it now because I don't really drink it that often. No, we already opened the surprise. Did you title it surprise? Yeah. Oh. It's called, that's called, not, it's not necessarily clickbaiting, but that's how you get people to watch. That means clickbaiting. Well, that's how you get people to watch, but we weren't, we weren't um, wrong either. No, we, Amy got a Steve Keen pack, so we can go through and show everything that she got. This is her Dairy Queen. Could rewind it. Well, they can do that too. We've only been on a half an hour. We've got some time to kill. As long as people want us on here. That's her Wendy's. That's your Wendy's. It's Amy's Naked Wendy's. I am not. Her Coltrane. That one's pretty. John Coltrane. That's a great one. You're going through them again? Well, I figured because some people are just now popping on because now we have 650 people when we were opening. We had like 550. Amy, do you speak Spanish? They want to know. Muy poquito. And then Amy got a wedding painting. You got a wedding painting. <laughs> a dark haired woman playing guitar. And then she got rain purple. I do like that one though. I think that one's great. Yeah, I like that one. That one and the Coltrane one, and then um, the Patriotic one. Those are the ones I like. Sinatra. That's all yours. I will take that one. I'll be happy to give that a home here. My thought is when I move out of here, I'll probably like send some of these out to my Patreons. The ones that I can live without, the Patri or the Paintings that I can live with. I did love I the want to pass painting, them though. That one's still my favorite, yeah. Bowie. I like the Bowie one, too, even if she doesn't. I, I don't know. Maybe it's referring to a um, cover or something, because... I don't What's the it. one, Heroes, or what's the one where he's like that in the... We like, can be heroes. Just one day. Oh, the Picasso. Oh, the Hemingway one was good, too. There's the Picasso. Look at that hair. It's kind of a racer head type hair. This, I love this. I love that one. That's the Hemingway. Old Man of the Sea. Old man, look at my sea. That's right. And then... That's the Snow April. Pennywise. It's pretty cool looking. I did. You have to share it on here sometime. This one I think is great too. This is the Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell blue. Kind of looks like Tom Petty. They kind of look alike in real life. Do they? Well, closer to yes than no. Which begs the question who wore it better? Petty. I like that one too. 
the regiment. Yeah, that was her pack. And then I mostly your pack. Well, I guess it's gonna turn into that. But. Yeah, I like the um, Coltrane one though, and I like the. Rainbow. Whatever Amy doesn't like want, rainbow. I'll take. Whatever I don't want, maybe I'll send. Honestly, out. I don't have any wall space at home to have all of that. <laughs> you could put it in your uh, spare room. That's true. 660 people watching, cool. Steve Keen did those. <laughs> Are we getting married? Is that the surprise? No, that was not the surprise. We got a wedding picture, though. That's we closed. Oh. Well, that's the wedding painting. I was like, painting. wait, did you drug me? <laughs> was I drunk? Love your earrings, they said. Aw, oh, thanks. Amy got a new watch today. Oh, from the sweetest people. First, before you show them, it was from um, Sean and Bill. That was so nice. Thank you so much. I was really super touched. I met I met I them in Pigeon Forge. I really almost started crying. They came to the meetup in Pigeon Forge and wanted to give this to Amy. It's so pretty. It's like a it's a hummingbird. Oh my gosh! What what's with the hummingbirds in me lately? Jordan? Oh, I just remembered what... Oh! How weird! That is weird. Okay, so check this out. The other day, my friend Stephanie um, came over and she gave me a cute bag that, and on the bag it has a hummingbird painted on it. Yada, 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 later that day. Yada, yada, yada. So, where I live, there's a lot, like my apartment complex has a lot of stray cats, but we take care of a couple of them that linger around because I hate seeing homeless animals. It makes me so sad. But I can't keep, like, six cats, you know? Yeah. So anyway, there's this really sweet cat named that I named Arnie because his personality reminds me of Arnie from Gilbert Grape. Seriously, <laughs> if you met this cat, you I guys, love that movie. it's so seriously Arnie. Like, he follows you everywhere you go, like, Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, Arnie decided to go and catch something. And I'm sitting on my porch, and I see Arnie over there, and he's eating a hummingbird. And you know what this cat decided to do? I'm sitting there minding my own business. This was the day that um, this happened with Graceland on the walls, too. So I was all upset, you know? Yeah, it was a rough day for her. Yeah. Next thing you know, I feel flop, 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 flop. And it's a freaking... Arnie flung the hum hummingbird's body onto my body. And it landed on top of my bare foot. And then I jumped up like, eek! Ugh. And it landed in my slipper because I literally like jumped out of my slippers. <laughs> like Thanks, I didn't Kim. just jump with my slippers; I jumped out of my slipper. Well, w one foot out, and then the hummingbird landed in my slipper. But the poor thing was dead, and now I get a hummingbird watch. What does that mean? What does it mean? She's going conspiracy on us. What does it mean? It's a sign from the universe. I don't know. What does it mean? What is the sign? Well, hummingbird's a sign of peace. I know, and then Arnie looked all Maybe sad. they're saying, like, Amy, quit worrying, and if you won't quit worrying, he's going to throw a, a sign of peace right in your face. Because the next the next morning, a hummingbird came and just was like, in my face, and then flew away. I'm like, the heck's with the hummingbird lately? Me. Seriously, like, like that. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a hummingbird? It did, huh? I'm a good impressionist. Yeah, you are. Every single day, you're going to think I'm lying, but I'm not. Every day when I sit outside on my porch to drink my coffee, just about every day, because of course if it's raining, it's not going to happen, but definitely in the summer and spring. First, a beetle comes and flies by me. Then, like 30 minutes later, a bee comes and tries to get me. And then a butterfly, not like five minutes apart, but like it happens in that order the heck and now the hummingbird thank you enoch a dead hummingbird landed the cat flung it with its mouth like flung it onto my body well i've never seen it i've never seen a cat pick it up with their paw and throw it so. no with his mouth so i know like, that's what i'm saying he had to do it that way thank cat, you betty cats can because i used to have a cat that had six toes those um i think they're called like polydactyls or something yeah 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 they are you're right and he really did used to pick things up with his hands and do stuff like that so yeah they do they do Ooh, school. Ooh. 
<laughs> moated. Do you remember that? Moated. Ooh, moated. At least the bird wasn't all bloody though. Like the the bird was like. I'm not even sure if it had a head or anything. I didn't look. I just freaked out. Like I literally jumped out of my slippers and then it landed into my slipper and then I was like my mom because my mom lives with me and I was like mommy and then my mom she tried to check it out and see if it was alive and she was like I, I, I was like you should just throw the slippers away and then she took the slipper down and so now I just walk around in one slipper I don't feel like wasting things so what you just walk around on one foot hopping? Yeah, well I walk but I just wear my one slipper until it's done. Couldn't creep. I'm just kidding you, but really. Well, you know what the funny thing is? There's always a spare shoe laying out on the street somewhere. You actually, as... you actually believe that, huh? I never know with you. You're sling blade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Tater salad. Mm -hmm. French fried taters. Wear a sock on the other foot. I mean, there you go. You know what? I don't know if my mom buried it. She might have, because she was gone for like five minutes. I was all panicked. I didn't. I'm gonna have to ask her. Or if she just tossed them in the trash. We fried it up and had hummingbirds, hummingbird shake and bake, and I helped. Do you guys remember the shake Thank and you, bake Thank you, Retro Ralph. That's the one up in Michigan, right? Ew! Could you imagine shake and bake? I don't wish to eat any meat. Thanks, Tim Lawson. Amy's the life of the party. Yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, Amy did meet that ball. <laughs> is it you? I know that would be so gross, huh? <laughs> I could never. I felt sad for it. I just saw a Sandy Ferris pop on there. Mother. Hi. Mother. Oh, we we will do another vlog with Keith Coogan. I forgot to give him a call. How can you forget him? He's so cool. I'm just always planning stuff, so. Last time we were on the live, somebody said, one of those, like, deep down conspiracy people said I had an Adam's apple, and that I'm really a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I was like, really? How did I have two kids? That must have been magic. <laughs> but it kind of does look like I have an Adam's apple, huh? <laughs> now I'm all paranoid. See, that, but now you're going to take that away from them. Now they're not going to be able to say that. Now I'm all You're paranoid. mocking them. See? that. People, if I like say my like, ma, it says, uh, let's see. Now I'm like, I feel like I should thank wear you, Beth. Turtlenecks. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just aging. No, I will never let you wear a turtleneck. A dicky maybe, but a, never a turtleneck. Only a the dicky. That part. What's that's, that? A, that's that one that it looks like a turtleneck, but it just fits right under your shirt and it stops like right here. But I've never heard of that dicky. That's what that is. What they are, right? Never heard that word. Yeah. So yeah, it does kind of look like I have a, it does. I have to stop it. Let me see. Let me feel it. <laughs> Did you know that's how the, how the guy talked for SpongeBob? He was like, bah. If you got like a necklace you know that? that covered that up, nobody would know about it. I should just wear chokers now so no one finds out. Yeah, yeah. Or, or a rock and roll Mick Jagger type scarves. That... No one seriously got me all paranoid. <laughs> oh, Amy. <laughs> Like, dang, I thought I was, my hands are miniature. No. No, I love that we, we, <laughs> you don't problem have is we can't, well, thank we, you. yeah, we, we can't. But it does kind of now that you focus when on When she it. told me somebody said that, I laughed out loud. Yeah, you can, like, we can't hear anything I laughed too when it. I saw that. I was like, are you serious? They, like, someone's going down the rabbit hole way too far on that one. So I had to address that. <laughs> So now that we covered hummingbirds and Adam's apples, what else can we talk about? I don't know. Somebody will come up with something. We're getting close to 700 people. We gotta, gotta be starting something. We, Got to be starting something. This is the Michael Jackson break of our show. Too high to get over. Yeah, yeah. Too low to get under. You should invest in a bigger sh sh thingy. <laughs> So that I can read it. <laughs> I'm afraid if you read it, what kind of responses you'll give sometimes. Why are things mean? No, I'm kidding. I 
can see it. It's just the light blinds behind it. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You can have put on putting down. No, I'm trying. Hi, Ange. Hi. Kathleen, you can't be leaving to do the dishes. Come on. Unless you're going to go outside and have somebody throw them up and you're going to shoot them with a gun and go, dishes are done, man. I love that movie. Yeah. Maybe we'll maybe I'll text them and see if they're around tonight. Maybe we can meet up with them. Yeah, right. Like, it's that easy. It is that easy. I've done it before. <laughs> Good. I'm so glad because I don't have I I had to rewatch. She doesn't have it. an Adam's apple, but she has an Amy's apple. I had to rewatch it to see like, and then now I'm all paranoid. Like, dude, maybe I do have an Adam's apple. I don't. I don't think so. I've never seen it it's or felt just it or age. A you start aging on your neck first. Oh, you are so paranoid. I should start putting that that um, old lady wrinkle cream on my neck. So you don't get turkey neck. Where? What is a turkey? How does it? But turkeys don't really sound like gobble though. Like, what do they sound like? Try to imitate a turkey. I've never lived with a turkey. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what Yet. they. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Jordan, tell her she's beautiful. I'm a Libra. I. Oh no, I'm such a Libra too. She is so beautiful. She knows that. Oh no. -uh. uh huh. Ah, oh, shush. Where is the shush card? We have to frame the shush card. We need to make copies of it so we can mail them out to everybody. I so think we should, Jordan. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, guys? Know what I'm saying? Adam's apple be gone cream. <laughs> oh, that would be such a great, like, uh, snake oil salesman thing so to, to invent. Is a uh, Adam's apple remover cream. That would be so great, like a novelty thing to sell. I was all paranoid about that. Like, what the heck? I, I'm, I really. I'm they really said it's. Girl. They said it's pronounced Olay, not old lady cream. Oil of Olay. <laughs> I like oil of Olay. I talked about it in that um, Elvis video. Thank you, Amy Yoshikawa. Do you remember? I, yeah, I remember what you told me about it. What? I. Yeah, can't say it. You don't remember? No, I do. About my oil of Olay. What are you thinking about? <laughs> what are you thinking about? Jordan, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about when, on the Palm Springs video when I talked about when I first got an Elvis record and I dropped oil of Olay lotion on his cheek. Definitely not the story I was thinking of. Well, where, that's the only oil of Olay story I have, so what are you thinking about? I don't know. I forget. <laughs> Does it have to do with an Adam's apple? Maybe. Ew! <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> uh-uh! <laughs> Not anything that I did! I didn't do anything! <laughs> I, mean, I, I do need creams, man. I Mostly, I live in off spray. Seriously, That's I have her, like her, her mosquitoes perfume. and fleas. They love me so much. Oh man, I am outside. so bit up right now. If you don't even know, like literally right now as I'm sitting here, the back of my leg and butt itches because <laughs> I have so many bites. And you know what? Cutter sucks. I tried to. I never used cutter before, and so then I bought it. Uh-uh, it doesn't even work. If anything, it seems like it attracts them. I never have to use bug spray. I guess I'm lucky. They don't like me. You never sit outside or anything. I'm outside. I take Jaw to the park all the time, but I just never get bit. I wonder they why. They know better. I don't know. Maybe it's just they're, they're, they're not they're around They're attracted here. to certain types of blood. I know that. I was researching it. Get they an, bite. Get an itch stick. She has... What's that? Scratchers all over the place. What's an itch stick? Like, oh, you know, oh. back scratchers and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, and off and the cutter, the family off, you gotta pay attention because it only has like 15% D. You have, they said O positive you and have A to have positive? Higher. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm A plus. What are you? What's your blood type? I'm A plus. Um, I think I'm A positive also. For real? 
Well, then why aren't the mosquitoes biting you? I don't know. I got, maybe I got um, dirty blood or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably the lotion, my makeup, the, or my I, lotion. I've heard right. perfumes and stuff like that Perfume. attract them. Like some of the scents in like hair sprays and For things like that. For your body wash. Yeah. I'm always smelling like a camper. You don't. Well, not when I'm here, because I know I, I know I'm not gonna get all bit up when I'm here. Every it sounds like everybody is saying they get they get bit a lot, so it I'm sounds like every. Bit. Smelling like a camper. I know, that was quite a description. It's not mean. I mean, let's not... Um, Bug spray, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Campers are fine. What's wrong with campers? <laughs> <laughs> but I do, though. Yeah, my mom's O positive, too. Or no, O negative. My mom's O negative. Wasn't there a band called um, Zero Negative or something like that? Like, typo Negative. Typo Negative, yeah, duh. Yeah. Right? What was one of their songs? Yeah. It was like a vampire, right? Kinda. Yeah. What was the name of their song? Uh, they had one that was kind of cool. I forget what. I haven't listened to them in a long time. Actually, since I moved here. Which was a month ago? No, I mean like move from oh. Ohio. I was gonna say, so you <laughs> back in two thousand. <laughs> God, Amy, good grief! What? Uh, Are you all sad? Am I being mean? Yeah, you're so mean. I'm not being mean. No, you're not mean at all. Are you being sarcastic? Now I'm getting paranoid. <laughs> Are you okay? Am I? Am I all right? What am I doing? You're cool. Just hide your Adam's apple. We don't want anybody to get all mouthy about it. I know, man. What the heck? Aw, Amy. Oh, yeah, we figured... I forget. One of the members of figured. Typo Negative passed away. So I don't know if they really perform anymore. They were uh, old school, though. I remember, like, back when Jackass was on and, like, then Bam Margera had a show or whatever, he was, I think he really super liked them. I think. That could be. Yeah, Peter Steele. I knew his name was Peter, I just couldn't remember. For some reason, I was wanting to say Gun. No, Peter Who? Steele, that's right. The singer Peter Steele, he passed away. Oh. Recently? No, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, I've done plenty of videos in ghost towns. Thank you, Retro Ralph, for the super chat. I didn't go to the bathroom. I went and refilled my drink. Ever considered self-publishing stories of Shelley Winters? Um, no, I kind of always figured I would just tell them on here as I remember them or as they come up. I'll probably do a book on like more of like my favorite travel places that places I've went to and like why I went there and you know things like that. Where was your favorite place to travel? Oh, it's, there's a big long list. No, but like your favorite. Um, I really liked going to the island of Capri in Italy because I got so into the movie. It started in Naples before I went. And then when I went there, I saw all the original, you know, everywhere that it was filmed. I got to go in, see all those places. So it was super cool. You know, see. yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. Did you go to the, um... Pompeii was awesome. Oh, you went to Pompeii? Mm-hmm. Cool. Mount Vesuvius was really cool. Did you walk through the catacombs? I did. I walked through the catacombs. I vlogged it, yeah. You're not allowed to film in there, though. Yeah, you are. The dead people? Mm -hmm. What vlog is that? I haven't seen that. <laughs> it's titled Catacombs of Paris. I'm about to check it out. Yeah. We'll go sometime, if we're ever allowed to travel again. Uh, we should. Well, I don't really want to show my kitchen, because as sad as it sounds, people will go on apartment finders and house finders and all that stuff, 
and they will match up stuff like that and figure out where you live. So I just feel like that's probably not a good idea. For what? Cooking? Yeah, just showing showing like part more of my where I live. Oh, I don't want to do like that. A tour? Yeah. Well, they wanted us to cook in the in the kitchen. I don't really want to show it cuz it's kind of a distinct looking kitchen, so. Really? Yeah. When when did you change your mind about that? I've always felt that way since I moved here. Where were we going to do cooking then? At your house was my plan. Tripping. <laughs> really? Uh -uh. Yeah. You're tripping on that. Why don't you just get a um, backdrop? The backdrop isn't doesn't help when you're showing stuff on stoves and all that stuff. You know, your your like how your kitchen's laid out and all that stuff. You could have it behind you, and a stove doesn't like make. Point out where you live. If you're like no, but your countertops and all that stuff. Like, pe just trust me. I've one one day my friend said, "Watch this." He started a video in front of a random building and said, "Tomorrow everyone will post this address." And it wasn't but 10 a.m. that he sent me screenshots of people saying, "Hey, go visit Adam at his new apartment," and it had that address. So I've seen it. I've seen it. I know. <laughs> trust me. Anything that people can look to find out or to try and put together where you live, just because they, you know, if they're the only ones, they will. So, yeah, I just don't want to do that. Yeah, it is. It's strange, but it it does happen. It happens all the time. Trust me. Um, no, well, most apartments, if they're in the same building, will have the same layouts. Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's part of it. And a lot of the a lot of places like out here, they have management companies, so they'll have you know twenty different properties all over the place, but they're all the same. But still, you just don't want you don't want anything like that. You don't want people showing up where you live. Uh, the weather has been rough. <laughs> I feel like I can't escape the heat. We got like a what two or three day break from it, and then it was all hot again. Not where I live. It was hot the whole time. You were gone for a week, but it was hot before I left and hot when I came back. You all right, Jordan? Are you all right, Amy? I'm all right. We're close. We're close to 700. Hi. Yes, I have done a MASH vlog. 693. Awesome. 115 in Arizona. I believe it. It's 113 here, so... I do. I drink. I drink hot, um, coffee no matter what the weather is. I drink hot coffee no matter what. <laughs> they said it's because Amy's with you. It's always hot in there. <laughs> No, I haven't been to Mackinac Island yet. That's one that Amy and I are going to do at some point. Right, Amy? Somewhere in time? Maybe. Oh, really? You like my Waylon shirt? Thank you. Amy's giving me the cold shoulders, my grandpa would say now. No, I'm not. What am I doing? Nothing. Like what? Let's talk about something. Oh, you're welcome, Keith. There we hit 700. Um, let's talk about something. Give me, give me a topic, guys. Did Amy like my quilt? You never even showed me, actually. I so, saw the video. I was gonna. I was gonna. Well, did what? you like the quilt? Yeah, but I, I mean, I'm talking about in person. If you haven't seen um, 
uh, Brother Tim's video of magnet fishing grandma making the quilt and how she, how she put it together and everything, it's really good. You should go look at it. The surprise was a bunch of paintings by Steve Keen. Yeah. I hate oh, the homeschooling. That's a good it. topic. What? Amy's been sitting in on her son's classes to kind of see what the at-home learning has been like. No, you totally said that wrong, but... Well, okay, you say it. How, how then? I'm not, I have not been sitting in to see what it's like. I'm forcibly having to do the homeschooling because now they're at home on a computer. I'm not like sitting in and checking it out. That's not forcibly like, because I'm, that's not forcibly because if you I have literally have a teacher in the living room at my house all day long, like six different teachers all, all day long. It sucks. I hate it. It's not working out. I've been watching him doing it. I'm not like it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, mom, homeschooling is terrible. Well, I feel like the, I mean, I just feel like... I hate it. It's so It's harder to stay focused when you're not in a classroom. I At least I was. I can go back. Yep. Virtual school sucks. Like, seriously, it sucks. I see your comments I'm not, said, like, nonchalant sitting in on it. It's says, like, I'm literally having to do it. Like it says, I'm a teacher. We're in person now, but I hated every second of being virtual. I feel for you, Amy. It sucks does like I feel bad for everybody that's having to do it and I know that the teachers gotta hate it it's gotta be hard to keep the kids attention well I feel bad for like the parents that have to work nights and then their kids stay up late and you know they're not gonna do school or the people who have to go to work in the morning and the kids are home alone you know they're not doing it when, when they start taking stupid, like they thank you in the palace like he's been going to school and then it'll say like missed class random missed classes but then he's been there it's like i don't like it and it's different than like homeschooling in the way that homeschooling was before like this is just different and they have to I, like the camera has to be on inside my living room all day like or and then else, and then they they claim he wasn't there when yeah. it was on. <laughs> or else you're counted absent. Like it's just I hate it. I would be surprised. I don't like what's if, going on right now. I just can't imagine that they're gonna get good results. Like I just can't imagine that they're gonna get see like the students are learning much. I mean it's just so hard to stay focused in in your house like that without having like a teacher that you can I don't know, I just that's and me some personally. Of the teachers, I think, though aren't doing a good job at it like some are doing a, a good job at it and understanding that this is a huge adjustment but then others aren't like they're just blasting through and expecting us all to know how to work the computer as if everybody just knows how to do it because we're all used to really our cell phones or regular computer it's just i don't like it The whole thing right now just in the math class like you he's he's supposed to do his math on the paper on a regular paper then take a picture of it with his phone and then send it that way Isn't that crazy what a different time yeah I wonder how long they'll keep this up if they'll you know if they'll go, oh, well, it'll just become cost-effective to not have schools anymore, so everybody will just do it from home, and nothing would that, surprise that me. That won't work, because not everyone, not everyone can afford Wi-Fi. Or good Wi-Fi, even if you, yeah. even if you can sometimes, being in a build, my old Great building point. Good couldn't get good, I couldn't get good Wi-Fi no matter that what. That could be why he's being counted Thanks, as Jeff absent, Kidd. because my Wi-Fi goes in and out, like I need a new router, and it cuts them off. Well, that her school, they had them come pick up Chromebooks, correct? They said, what if you don't have a computer? Oh, yeah. They, they make it where you have, like, you, you get a free Chromebook. But you have to make sure you turn it back in at the end of the year. So, so if anything's wrong with it, you're going to be buying it, basically. Still, yeah, don't. 
And, but it doesn't allow you to go anywhere on it. It's not like a laptop where you can be like, let's go watch Days with Jordan the Lion. Just no. Google stuff, or just like yeah. the Google page. And it's so limited. Like, you can't even just Google anything either. It's so... But I'm doing good in science, guys. <laughs> let's put it that way. I am doing good in science. <laughs> not so good at math. I'm terrible at computer class, and I'm all right at history. In my English class, I have no idea what's going on. So that's how homeschooling's going. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm getting an education. Finally, Mama, finally. <laughs> Seriously. I know I'm not alone. I know. There's got to be some mothers on here who could tell me that they're, they're busting out the homework. I, I can't be alone on that. I'm serious. See? Yeah. Other people are saying they, they have, they're doing this too. Yep. Yeah. It just caught, like, it causes so much frustration where you're just like, ah, I'm just going to do it real quick. Oh, I'm not in biology yet. <laughs> I'm ter like, the math, I don't, honestly, I don't even know what, I don't even know what kind of math class this is. Thanks, Jeff Kidd, and thank you, Frank Cole. But I'm doing all right. I learned about speed and velocity. About the drugs. <laughs> I had to I had to learn this, like, song. It was like, speed and velocity. It was like a two-minute song. Do they make them sing it in the camera? No, you had to watch a video. You had to watch a video and then um, do the test. And literally, I was after, when I got to the test, I just, I'm just super outing that I'm doing my kids' homework. <laughs> I am, though. For the most part, well, you gotta help him. I mean, yeah, because it's so like frustrating, and it's. I look like I got like a lazy eye. <laughs> Did you get a bee sting? No, but I have a feeling. Thank you, Belinda Davis. I have a feeling I'm gonna get a bee sting pretty soon. A bee keeps trying to get me every single day. Those videos are cringy. Have you guys seen the um, old school Wendy's commercials, the training videos for Wendy's back in like 1991? It's pretty funny. You guys should look it up after this. Bye, Mom. Good night. Night, Sandy. I don't even know how to do the Google Slides. The teachers go through it so quick. I can't even. I have no idea how to do a Google slide. Like, do you? No. Nope, I have never no had idea. To. And that's how the English class is. You guys should have seen the picture I, well, he, my kid was supposed to draw for a computer class. I, I did a great job. <laughs> Helping. Helping. We gotta get those grades up. Well, that's the thing, is that, I mean, it's hard. Like, that's what I was saying. It's like, it was hard enough for me in math classes with a teacher there that I could say, hey, I don't get this. But now you're, you're like trying to interrupt while you're on a camera with other students in the class. It's got to be weird to try and ask a question or just, it's got to be harder to understand. I you can't because it's all muted. Like literally, all you see is like all the little kids' faces and they all just look like all just with their headphones on, not interested. And if you can't hear anybody and the teacher can't hear anybody until they click on it and... Like, they'll say my kid's name, and then he'll have to push a button, like, here, and then it goes back to... So they can just zone out, basically? That's or... really... It's not even... They can. These kids are definitely just zoning out. You know what these kids are doing? And I'm, I'm guilty of it, too. The kids are playing their video games while they're chilling on, at school, or they're on some other stuff with headphones, their little AirPods in, listening to music, whatever the girls do. I know that the boys play, like... Um, video games. I don't know what the, the little 8th grade girls do now. Like, what's popular for them? I don't think they play video games, do they? Amy's fired up. You're right, Jeff Kid. She kind of is. Like, in a bad way? What no, 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 in a good way. What do you mean? No, they like seeing you. I'll take... be quiet. No! I don't know. I don't know. No, that's a good thing. No, it's a good thing. People love seeing you talk. No, but I... What am I doing? I'm in a good mood. No, that's what he's saying. He's saying you're all fired up. They love hearing you talk about stuff. Eighth grade is all about fashion and makeup for girls. You're probably right, Susan. 
me says Amy's right. And bored. But it's true, like it sucks what's going on right now. And it, there's a lot of stress too. I'm not even gonna get all political or go there, but like we're all under so much stress. And then there's so many people we're trying to get enough money to even pay for rent. And then on top of that, you gotta figure out how to do your kids' school, and you gotta help them do their homework, and you basically are having to be a teacher yourself. That's what I think. When you I've don't been even know what you're here. doing, like these kids are light years ahead of what I was doing in eighth grade. Like light years yeah. ahead. I was saying that to Amy. I was like, when we were in high school, I remember it. it like we didn't even have cell phones, really. It was. It was uh, graphing calculators, if anything. That the was only really person who had like, a cell phone in 8th grade was Zach Morris. That's true. That's it. That's true. We didn't even have pagers in 8th grade for us. I didn't get Just a pager here. until 10th grade. But it's serious. I, it's a lot of stress. Like, Am I lying, you guys? I'm not, huh? Is all the parents that are here? Am I? That's I the right? first thing I thought when they when they were saying it was going to be home. I was like, that basically has just made all the parents really heavily like more responsible for like helping teach the kids because it's going to be so hard to learn. You have to okay. So a lot of people have to work all day long for eight hours with a mask on their face, which is highly stressful. Then you got to try to come up with money to pay all these things that have not cheapened in price at all if anything they've gone up like my electric bill they're super ripping people off yeah and then you have to hope that your kids are doing school you're hoping that they're logging in you're hoping that your internet stays on you're hoping because i heard the teacher saying that if you're not visually present for 80 percent of the class then you're going to get counted absent and that's not fair because wi-fi is go in and out and it cuts out and your kid is just a little kid they might be thinking they're all in the live stream and they have no idea it cut out on them it's just then you gotta cook and you gotta do laundry and you have to make sure they brush their teeth and then you gotta like try to explain the internet to them it's hard it is makes you want to cry like I could almost cry right now I'm serious that's what I was telling you, ever since school started up, back up, it's just like, oh my gosh. You just don't, that's all you can do. You can't squeeze blood out of a turnip. That's true. So you can only do what you can, really. Do you get rolling blackouts? Yeah. yeah. It hasn't happened yet, because my apartment complex, man, shoot, they turn off the power here and there anyway. But everybody else, yeah. I think that my best friend, um, her neighborhood is going through one right now. You know what? They'll get used to it eventually. We'll all get used to it eventually because you know what? We're gonna have to. Thank you, Jeff Kid. I just, my thing was like, how did they have enough time in just a couple of months to throw, to, to put together a whole curriculum with computers and all that stuff. I just, ah. But well, you know what? I just feel like, I just, I don't know. It's like a catch-22, though. Like, I would so much rather be dealing with this than to think of my kid at school having to wear a mask all day long, you know, trying to breathe and not be allowed to talk to friends and not be allowed to socialize. I just think I'd rather deal with this than that. Yeah, I bet you it would be like bag lunches and stuff, so probably no cafeteria, no, bag no lunches, interactions. I bet you would not be allowed to bring food to school at all. I bet that would be a big fat no-no. I don't know how they are doing that. I, it seems like when I was in Ohio last week, um, mo as I was driving around town, most of the schools, it looks like they were going to be holding school in, in the school. Because they don't go to school till the first week of September, my mom was saying, but... As I would drive through, all their signs were like, welcome back, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, in Ohio? Mm-hmm. I think they're they going to do it in the classroom. School. They haven't started school yet? Mm-mm. Wow. They probably started this week, actually. I, I think, I, I just would, I just feel so much better having my kid at home than, 
as much as it sucks, I would just, it's better for the, he's not really all that little anymore, little but Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's almost 13. But it's just better for his mind to not really, really, like, get stressed out. It's just better. Because I would hate to wear a mask all day. Yeah. I feel for the people that have to do that, for real. It sucks. Some people, I think, are just getting used to it, but I it's did. hard enough for me to breathe just normally, so out of, you know, so out of my nose, so it's, wearing a mask is even harder. We are being held hostage in California a little bit, for sure, but that's all political. Oh, sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to super get into how Thank I you, Jane. Because I can go off, and I won't. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> I'm trying so hard to reel back, because I can just go so patriotic on you guys. If you were to scroll through my YouTube, you'd see, like, all the stuff I watch. Like, it's not music. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Watch, watch the, the Invisible, Invisible Man. Man. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Tracy. See how much Mom knows me. Watch The Invisible Man, you guys. That's a really good movie. Not the old 1933 one, but the new one. It's actually really good. I like the original one, too. But it's not, like, a remake of that. It's not a remake of that. Is it on Netflix or what? No, you have to you have to buy it. Oh yeah, you said you teach um, you teach singing and music, and I must wear a mask when I teach. Singing and masks don't mix. Wow. I bet. Yeah, you have to take in a lot of air that when you sing. Would suck. Thank you, Sean, for the super chat. That would suck. Yeah. Don't. Who, what's the name of that hip hop group that sings this that song, Mask Off? Come on, you guys. Give me the lyrics to it. It's oh, like, and you're an opera singer? That would make it way harder. <laughs> oh, my gosh, because you have to go, but it, like, sucks in. We're going to make some money off you, Amy. <laughs> I'm a good opera singer. <laughs> Hamilton's got nothing on me. <laughs> I actually sat through the whole... Ha so my kid was, like, really obsessed with him. Not obsessed where there was posters on the wall or anything, but he really loved Hamilton for a while. A lot of kids really loved Hamilton. Yeah. And I just was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it. And then luckily he got to go actually see the play in San Francisco. I didn't go. But anyway, thanks. This is called Done by Amy. I just painted my own nails. Um, Do a good job. Nah, they don't see it up close, and I like keeping my nails short too. I hate having long nails. I hate it. So anyway, um, I watched Hamilton for the first time the other night. It wasn't. It really wasn't that bad. Am I gonna is watch it, future it again? Is who does mask off? No, is it? Future. I wish we could play music. It's that song that's like, who else though? Who else is in the song with them? I think it's like got a feature. It's a, it's one of those, it's kind of newish. It's not really that new, but it You is. said if it wasn't for closed captioning for Hamilton, I would not have understood a single word. <laughs> I feel you on that. <laughs> what does it say? Son of a whore. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe that my kid was watching. Ha Guess what, guys? Hamilton is not, um, it is not PG or G. It is definitely parental guidance. Because of the lyrics, not because of visually what you see on it. So you hear your kid in the room, he's like seven, he's like, Hamilton, son of a whore. <laughs> really? Am I going to get us mo modulated or whatever the word is? Modulated, no. Is it? What is it again? Demonetized. Demonetized. <laughs> what does modulate mean? Uh, transform. Joyner Lucas, is that a um, hip hop group? I don't know. There might be other songs about masks, like Phantom of the Opera. That's How does the Phantom of the Opera song go? Music of the Night song or what? Yeah, is that it? The popular Phantom of the Opera song? There's a bunch of popular Phantom of the Opera songs. Really? Yeah. I, name one. Well, the Phantom of the Opera is one of them. <laughs> That's the song. It, sing da, 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 da. Now sing the next popular one. Uh, 
the music, I just don't remember, but I know it's the music of the night. Da, 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 the music oh. of the night. That's everybody, we're all phantoms now. Yeah. Want to see Jaw? He's over I say laying. stop it, stop. He's, he's, he's laying right That's here. That's what I say, stop, stand up, stand up. I do agree with that. A Without lot, violence. A lot, of, yeah, I do, I do agree with that. People do need to speak their mind. That old I'm saying. just like, my thing is, don't don't spray paint Graceland. Spray paint your own house and send the message. That like, saying, then it can stay up for as change. long as you want. Be that. Like Michael Jackson said, make that change. You gotta make that change. 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 Make that change. Yeah? Surrender. Is that oh, in the... Baby. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a that's different the, song. No, no, no. That's part of bad. That's the end. You've got to stand up. That, I think make you're blending change. songs right now. I don't think so. Somebody that knows Michael Jackson, tell it's me. Spicy today. What's so, wrong? What's wrong? I'm fine. See, see, see. Somebody says I. See, they know. They know. They say I'm right. What about what? About what? They said you're the right, Phantom? Jordan. No, I think I think about the um, the man in the. Oh, man in the mirror. Yeah, see, that's all part of man in the mirror. What? There's rioting I'm in so Louisville, really? Right now. Yeah, it's Man in the Mirror. Yeah, he does all that at the end of Man in the Mirror. He does a big long does outro. What? That all that stand up, all that you know, all that extra stuff he always does in the background when he reads in a song. He does like I know he like was like a minute a minute worth of like outro. It's in there. I wasn't denying you. I was saying it sounded like you're blending two uh, two Michael Jackson songs together. That's what I said. I didn't say you weren't doing. It. You're feisty tonight. No way. Man on the Silver Mountain. That's a good song. <laughs> Dio. Oh my gosh, I bet it was so cool to see Michael Jackson in concert. I That's one I, that's, I, I think that's probably one that when people ask me, like, who would, did you want to see the most that you never got to? Ever since I was little, I always wanted to see Michael in concert once. So that that's one that I really, really do. Um, probably do. Prince. But you know what's crazy? Those two hated each other. Prince and Michael Jackson hated each other. Why? How, Compe how you know? Competitive. Well, I know for sure Prince hated Michael. It was something he talked about all the time. Yeah, he did not like Michael Jackson. I've never, ever heard that. You haven't? Mm -hmm. I'll show you when we get off here. Anybody that can back me up on that, say something on here. I'm not debating you, Jordan. No, I'm just telling you, that's, that's one of those things I was surprised to hear. That, yeah... That Prince did not like Michael, for sure. But a Prince didn't like a lot of people, actually. He sounded like, when you hear, if you watch um, Tales from the Tour Bus, the one with Morris Day where he's talking about how Prince wanted him to, like, create the time and how Prince ran the time and everything, the band, you see, like, Prince would have been definitely a hard person to deal with. <laughs> like I always thought he seemed cool. Well, just when you hear stories from people, like, he was just very exacting. Like, it was like, if he was going to help, like, create a, a music group or something, it had to be his way. Because Morris Davidson says, and he, goes, yeah, he wanted he me to fire in band members way. and, huh? I don't think he did it in a mean way. Uh, he was just a musical genius. Well, you'll see the, I'll show you the tales, I'll show you the tales from the tour bus when they're telling the stories, because there's a couple of stories where you're like, oh, that's, that's pretty baller. Like, he could just demand stuff, because he, you know, when you're that... When you guys ever guy. seen um, Chappelle do The Prince? That's so good. It's so good. And yeah. did you know, like, it's supposedly a true story? Yeah. The the pancake, playing basketball, eating yeah. pancakes. Yeah, he said, purify yourself in the lake, waters of um, Lake Minnetonka. Yeah. I love that. That's so funny. Game blouses. Exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look yeah, he goes, you know what he said, people, he goes, they went out to play and everybody's got, like, platform it. shoes and, <laughs> like, jewelry and everything. Heck yeah, I used, I have that meme somewhere. Oh, Charlie Murphy tells that story so good, yeah. Purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. I have it somewhere. Which is, which is crazy, because they didn't it. even film the that page. scene in Minnetonka. Because it's funny.
Yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan was great too. I love Stevie. <laughs> Has Amy gone into singing mode yet? Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to. Yeah, you can. Oh, thank you for everybody for watching. No, no fires near me. Yeah, there's big fire by me. But since Jordan speaks of kitchens, I won't show you the picture I took today because then you'll know exactly where I live. Oh, I don't care if they know where you live. <laughs> Obviously, because you were going to do the cooking show at my place. Remember? Yeah. Which is kind of messed up. No, because it's, it's, nobody knows roughly where you live. People know roughly where I live. But you said they could just look it up and think. Well, it's, I know. if people know roughly where you live, then they know where to look for those places. If they don't. Any riots out there? Not yet. There might be one in this room, it sounds like. She's <laughs> exhaling at me. You seem feisty. I'm you? not feisty. Did, Did I ever I get... I up on energy and I'm feeling it. No, you're not. You're feeling wrong. Did you ever get an Elvis potion stamp? No, I never did. I actually wanted the other one. When they were voting on it, they had two options. I really wanted the other one, so when they went with the younger one, I just never really... I never really sought out getting one. I always liked the jumpsuit stuff. My mom. More. Sandy knows. Knows what? Quiet riots. <laughs> Good one, Bill. I saw Bill. I'm not. I, uh, I. I'll just say this. I saw a picture of Randy Rhodes playing a guitar that I'd never seen him with before. If you know what I'm talking about, Bill K, then then you probably saw it. Unbelievable. That was the, one of the wackiest pictures I ever saw. You do look pretty. Thank Always. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like in such a good mood. I'm in a good mood too. Thanks, Jeff kid. When we go when we go to uh, Florida, we'll do a, a cooking video with Jeff Kidd in his kitchen. You like the veterans picture, Sandy? I like that one too. The painting. Adam's apple. <laughs> Amy, are you Italian? That's a good question because people often ask me what Amy's heritage is. I'm um, Native American a lot. Uh, Stefan should actually have uh, Kelly Rhodes on. That that would be a good guess for him. You were, you were mentioning um, Bill K. You were mentioning Randy Rhodes. Having Randy's brother on would be a good one. I think Amy always looks pretty too, even when she doesn't think she does. I always think she does. Oh, oh thank you, Jane Sackman. That was very generous of you. I wonder what I am. I want to do one of those. Um, Ancestry, and me oh, twenty three. But then I thought, what? If, how do you know it's true, though? How do you know they don't just print out something, and send it to you, and came up on your hundred bucks? Yeah. What I if mean, they, what an easy gig. They're gonna say that Amy's related to George Washington. Next time I see her, she's gonna start wearing a powdered wig and going all overboard with it. Start. <laughs> Oh, you like the vlog of it at Shay J and Dennis Wilson? Yeah, that was a good one. The food at Shay J was really great. And um, when I posted that vlog, they actually commented and said, thank you for making this. You're welcome here anytime, which was pretty cool. That's where, That was the inspiration for Three's Company, that place. My complexion really isn't flawless. I'm like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> Hold on. You said you just did an ancestry DNA with Lacey? Sandy. What? What did my mom say? 
Wait, she she said? just said stop. Stop uh, what? Oh, about being the Crypt Keeper? Yeah, exactly. Doesn't he like slap his face? <laughs> I saw the funniest, I'm not going to get, because it's a political meme, I'm not going to get into it, but somebody did a really great political meme with the Crypt Keeper that had me laughing out loud. Did it have to do with Schmiden? No. Had to do with someone getting their hair done in a salon. Oh! Thank you, Lisa Keen. That was very nice of you. I just think any reference that you can make with the Crypt Keeper always wins me over because he's one of my favorite characters so on that anything. Win you over? That is one of like the most attractive things is that, that Crypt Keeper laugh that you sometimes laugh. I thought it was my Crypt Keeper face. Crypt Keeper Adam's apple. I know. Do I really have an Adam's apple, you guys? I do. Huh? I might have two. I do. I think I was born with two. Let's start I that do, one. Huh? I have one here, then one back here somewhere. That's a big old neck. <laughs> it's so funny because in person, my hand's all super little. <laughs> but, like, it's funny how cameras. Big old neck. I love Tales from the Crypt, too. I actually have. Um... Jordan says I have an Adam's apple. Oh, I do not. Are we going to Florida anytime soon? Amy and I were trying to pick where we were going to go next, and Florida was on there, the register, but when I mentioned it to Adam the Woo, I said, what's the weather like during this time that we want to go? And he said, rains a lot and it's super hot, so we just decided to postpone rain it. Rain in Georgia. What song is that? I just felt like if it's going to rain like every day, that might be inconvenient right now, so we might wait until it's not that rainy. Or where it rains a little, you know, I'm cool with 20 minute rains, but... What? About going to Florida? Oh, about my Adam's apple. Oh! I woke up that morning and I saw that and I oh. was like, oh my oh, god. Oh, I just thought how we can make so much I money. Like, oh my we god. should draw. We should draw, like you should sign pictures of an Adam's apple and we can sell them. I don't and then, want to, I don't want to. No. We can just say, if I had an Adam's apple, this if, is what it would look like. If I had an Adam's apple, it'd be just like, what's his name from Andy Griffith? Who's that nerdy tall dude on Andy Griffith? Go Goober? Go Goober yeah. or Gomer? Yeah. Whoever he is. But Gar. What did he used to say? What do you say? Shazam! Oh my gosh, Shazam! I have a story for that. Since he's a race! Since he's a race! I won't tell you that story unless you want to hear it. Oh, Amy. <laughs> Jim Neighbors. Oh, that's, no, isn't that please. so crazy? Stefan had um, Carol Burnett's daughter on as his guest, and she was saying that her godfather was Jim Neighbors. That's crazy to think that, like, So Carol, was Carol, her neighbor a god... Wait, how do we say it? Her godfather was Jim Neighbors, so, so was then her... So her neighbor was Jim God... Wait, how would you say it? How would you, how would you back it up? You're trying to figure out how to, how to reverse it? Yeah. Um, so if her neighbor was who? Jim... Her, Wait, her, her, no, her no. godfather was Jim, Jim neighbor, Neighbors, so her neighbor was God Jimmer? Her, her, her neighbor was Godfather Jim. <laughs> <laughs> J Jim Neighbors sang baritone, Mama sang bass, Papa sang tenor. My Cooking with the kid. My grandma always used to make that, that joke. My mom can sing baritone. People say sometimes on here, they'll, go, they'll say they like my laugh. My grandpa was saying when I was home visiting... He was saying that Golly. that my sis that my sister and I got my got our grandma's laugh. She had a really funny laugh. Oh yeah, Gomer Gomer totally did say golly. You're right. Golly. Oh, that's a great idea. Sell so Adam's apple cream. Well, that's what I was saying. We should just make a fake no, elixir. No, everybody will think I'm a guy, and I'm not a guy. I don't no, want to. you're not a guy. My point was to say I'm not. I had to. I think if you just, I if you over mock it. I literally you, pushed two babies out of my body. How did that happen? You didn't push them out of an Adam's apple, that's for sure. Oh gosh. Because I certainly remember that. <laughs> Sandy, you're going to have to help me with this one. You're going to have to help me talk this Adam's apple business out of her head. I think my mom goes in and out on watching us. I don't think she's like literally I think she's afraid paying of, attention. I, I think she's afraid of what goes on when she's not paying attention on here. My mom loves me. I know she does. That's what I'm saying. See, she's She's trying. probably worried that you go too far. You'll, like, you'll, you'll think that No, you're everything... not. Tell him, um, no, you're not worried that I'll go too far. No, that you'll... 
She's no, I, you're that anything anybody. No, she's saying I am too about paying attention. Oh, that's true. I know I'm gonna always rub my neck now. Every time I'm on now, I'm gonna be like that, and that's not even my hand. She's gonna grab a pillow from behind her and just have it under. I'm gonna neck. hire. <laughs> I'm gonna hire a hand a hand model that will come and just hold my neck, and that's not even me. Like like thing from the Adams family that just comes out from yeah, the side of the screen. Yeah, there's gonna be and... someone that we hire that just comes in and just holds my neck. Oh, no. Amy, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Wear a turtleneck. It's hot, though. My mom just shakes her head because, what did you say? I am not Because she knows mess. her daughter is a hot mess with a quick mouth. I am not a hot no, mess. No, that's her. That's what she says about her mom. What? She's, oh. She said her mom oh, says oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Because you read it. I don't remember. I couldn't hear it. Because you don't listen to me. That's what you accuse me of. That's not true. Five fingers and never complained. Pierce I just only said you don't, didn't listen about my McDonald's story. What day it happened. Oh, John, he's here. He's just laying here beside us. He was looking my arm for part of this. <laughs> you guys yeah, on the count of three, I say Amy is beautiful. One, two, three. Thanks, guys. Amy, you are beautiful. Thank you, Tina. You I said this is the best time to come to Florida. How did that song go that Elvis was singing? And he's like, No, no, not in Florida. Rain and not in Georgia. He was singing it in the back of a limo on a. Um, oh, in the El Elvis on tour, mm -hmm. right? Hi, Chico. Chico's so cute. I know, Chico is cute. He's little. He's way little than him. Chico yeah, he's is like little. half the size of John. Yeah. Kentucky Rain. No, not Kentucky Rain. That's not Kentucky Rain. We were just singing it kind of with that. Nuh uh. Kentucky Rain goes, Kentucky Rain keeps pouring down. And that's a lot different than, na 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 in Florida, rain and night in Georgia. I think they heard the word rain though. Rainy Night in Georgia. Maybe that's the name of the song, Brooke Benton, it says. I'll have to listen to that. Because I only know the two that... I don't even remember. I have to rewatch it. Rainy Night in Georgia. Rainy. And that's when he, like, grabbed his glasses and adjusted them on his face. I yeah. know everything. She does. The, I mean, It is getting longer. I really, really want to cut it. It's it was supposed to get cut this week, but... Maybe yeah. cancel it. My battery died in my car. You're driving to Fairmount? Have a great time. Don't, um, well, I was going to say don't be shy about going to visit Marcus, but then again, maybe you should during all this. He probably doesn't want random people showing up at his house. Does Amy like F. Scott Fitzgerald? Yes. I, he's one of my favorites. Have you ver had the laughing version of Are You Lonesome Tonight by Elvis? Over numerous you want to times. talk about that one a little bit? In no, there's not much to say about it. Well, I didn't he get sued for that? No. Isn't that the one he got sued for, for, for the lyrics? No. Okay. I thought that was the Which one. Which one did he ever get sued for? I, never I thought the that. person that wrote the middle section to Are You Lonesome Tonight, they sued him because he he was laughing through it all on a record, on a live show or something? No. Isn't that the one? No? no. I think it went down that um, he couldn't get through the concert. No, I never heard the suing. I don't remember. You might have. You might have heard that from someone else, and not me. No, I did. I know I didn't hear it from you. I'm just trying to remember where I heard it from. Oh, thank you, Sean. Um, do you ever watch Drunk History? I I was actually watching yeah. it in Ohio with my friend Tim a little bit. I don't watch it anymore, but I used to. Sometimes I think they're forcing out fake laughs, so that that was kind of drawing me out of it sometimes, but I like the concept. Yeah, he changed some of the words, right? But he always, like, whenever he was goofing around, he always did stuff like that.
Um, yeah, I don't know how you go about meeting Mark. Yeah, actually, the best way if you wanted to meet Marcus, if he'd be willing to, would be call the museum. He he has, he's the person that owns all the. Um, he has all the keys to all those cases. So anybody there that you talk to will have direct contact with him if you would be interested. I wouldn't say like because of what's going on now. I wouldn't say just show up out there because who knows he's. He's in his 80s. He might, you know, some people are not. Take them away, huh? I'm like, I'm, I'm going to be doing a vlog with um, Bruce Kulik this week, and um, we're trying to figure out a safe way to do it because they, you know, he and his wife, they went everywhere. Bruce has had, you know, um, respiratory problems in the past, so I'm just trying to figure out how to do it safely. Might not even happen. So, so I'm, I'm guessing, you know, somebody like Marcus who who um, is in his 80s, you know, who knows. That's a good, that's always a good thing when you go to a record shop and they're sold out of Elvis. That means that a lot of people have good taste that have been coming in there. Um, no, I've never been to, I've never done anything in Petaluma. Um, I probably wouldn't do American Graffiti, actually, I'd, I'd probably do um, Poly Class. It was, I found my thrill Oh, 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 blueberry You know, it's crazy how many people have Elvis stories. Like, Elvis met a lot of people. You got into Lambda... Drama school? Congratulations! Yeah, it's strawberry. Hill. Just kidding. Are your couch and pillows an homage to Elvis? Um, I just like this stuff, so it just so happens. Strawberry that Elvis Hill. Would... No, that's Strawberry Fields. Yeah, that's Blueberry Hill is the one I know from Fast Domino. But he said, what song did he do by um, Chuck Berry? Oh. Um, I'm not sure. We'll stay on for a couple more minutes. So any last minute questions, just let us know. Do I have a surprise coming? Not really. I mean, other than, we did it at the beginning of the of this live stream, so if you want to see it, you have to go back and watch the first 30 minutes of this stream. You said you didn't actually appreciate Elvis until he passed away? I think a lot of people kind of were like that. I watched a video recently of um, Led Zeppelin and they were talking about the time that they met Elvis at, uh, I think it was at the forum. And they were saying that um, they were Elvis fans, but like their manager like one day was like, hey, you guys want to meet Elvis tonight? And they said, you know, at that time he was, you know, he was still cool and he was still Elvis, but he was kind of like a gimmick almost, or that's the way people like in rock and roll kind of felt. And they go, they, they watched his show and they were like captivated and then they met him afterward and they said, he was one of the easiest people you ever met to talk to. They said for just an hour, they would just talk music. And they said, like, he knew. Like, he knew. They go, all he wouldn't talk about was, like, old blues music and stuff that he was into, like, and stuff that they were into. And they said that he, um, they go, you know, he knew that people had a certain expectation from him when he was, like, performing live and stuff. But they go, man, he was really deep dude when it came to, like, old music if he, if he really just went out there and did you know just one night of him playing all those songs they talked about he said it would have been a great concert oh yeah it was promised land that's the one he did by chuck Berry. Mm. amy what country would you like to visit the most I guess Europe, because I super, super love King Edward VIII, even though he didn't stay the king that long. 
Iron Gavin, hello. Simpson and Edward, the eight. Hello, Iron Gavin. I have a package I'll be sending you very soon. Stay safe in Kenosha. Ga Iron Gavin is awesome. He's a seven-year-old little boy fighting leukemia who oh, watches me yeah. all the time. So we're going to send him um, a special package. And there's a special note in there for something that you and I are going to do in the future, Gavin. So oh, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, we don't. I, so sad. Yeah. But, I hope that everything will be OK. Yeah, we're gonna. Um, I got a package. We're gonna send out to you. With, so I hope you like it. Yeah, everybody say hi to Iron Gavin. Everybody should send. He's him he's something. into. Uh, he likes wrestling and Marvel him. superheroes. So he's a cool kid. <laughs> are, are, are you reading this? I thought that was what you were sighing about. No, I'm sighing about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm surprised I haven't heard about it. It's sad. Yeah, I wasn't laughing. Somebody commented and said they were saying the real story is about what what they said Elvis's real name is now that he faked his death. So that's why I was like, oh boy, don't get Amy started. I don't think Bob Joyce is Elvis. No, they were seeing someone else, John Burroughs or something like that. Well, he used to check into all the hotels named John Burroughs, and so there is no John Burroughs as far as like someone pretending to be a John Burroughs, but there's John Cotner. Unless, there, where'd you get John Burroughs from? Right here. They said it here. What'd they say? Right there. I can't see it. It says Elvis Go. I literally go can't see it. It says Elvis goes by John Burroughs, witness protection, Elvis faked his death. Oh, well, yeah, well, Elvis um, used to check into the hotels as John Burroughs. He's John Cotner online. That's not his legal name, though. Betcha. I didn't, I haven't seen that one yet, Mark. What? He asked if anybody saw Mike Tyson on Joe Rogan Experience. I saw that it's up there, but I haven't watched it yet. I was watching the one, actually, I really I really recommend it if you like stuff that's not politically correct. Um, Joe Rogan had Annie Letterman and um, Whitney Cummings on the other day, and their whole talk was about um, a night before at the comedy store, and they were just saying how good it felt to be like around comedians where... They could say stuff to each other, not worried about being canceled. They could actually like, be themselves, be comedians, and like how much they appreciated not mm -hmm. getting to be around people. And it was kind of it was kind of a fun podcast because you don't really see a lot of people saying things freely right now. No, 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 no. Not getting married. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Everybody on here is saying Elvis faked his death. Watch the movie. Okay. Yeah, it's really interesting. You've never seen it. All right, we're going to wrap it up here in a couple of seconds. Last questions, because I want to take Amy out to eat, so... <laughs> Amy, you're not old enough to know about Elvis when he was alive. How do you, what's it say? How do you, it says, how, did you how did you get into his music? When I was 11. He was on the Disney Channel. I tell about it in that vlog. It's kind of a long story. Ish. She talks about it in the, um, when we went to the honeymoon house. I get asked it a lot. And yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. We had pretty much 700 people for a good good chunk of time. We're actually only six away from 700 right now. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff Kid. 
What about my mama? <laughs> I think they like her. I think Bill, or, uh, was that Bill K? My mom's Bill awesome. Bill K's cool, yeah. My mom's the bestest, bestest. She's such a cool person. Thanks, Arthur Childs. What's for dinner? Oh, your mom wants to know what's for dinner. Oh, you wish. It's some, we'll tell you off camera. I'm going to eat some shrimp. I don't know. You wish you'd have it, Mom. And it's too far and far. If you come out this way, we'll take you. It's really good. It'll be Thai food. All right, everyone. Otherwise, I would order you something and bring it to you. Thank you, everyone, for popping in. Thank you for, this was just a random stream. Just kidding. I don't really know what we're going to have. I'm so, I'm so super plain. But all the food out here is so much better. Don't forget a doggy bag for Ja. Don't worry, Ja already ate his meal. All I right, don't everyone. Know where we're going. We'll see you all later. Thanks for tuning Wait, in. Wait, I love you, Mom. What a sweetheart. Good night, everyone.